Hello everyone, welcome to Data Empires. In the previous session, we discussed about logical, electrical, mechanical, and firmware repairing. Also, we discussed the MRTC gate firmware repairing and data extraction in the advanced firmware repairing training. In this training session, we will discuss about MRTWD firmware repairing. First of all, let us discuss how to start the MRTWD firmware user interface and how to check the log tab information. So guys, here we have a WD company hard disk. It is a 1 TB hard disk. The model number of the hard disk is WD10EZEX. Now, let us discuss about the WDMRT firmware repairing. First of all, connect this hard disk to the MRT tool. Now run the MRT software. Guys, currently this hard disk is connected to ATA0 port. Now we power up the hard disk. Currently, the hard disk is in the busy state. Now the hard disk is in ready condition. Now click on the auto detect button. Here, on the left side, the WD vendor is selected. And on the right side, the WDC Marvel option gets selected. Now click on the start button. Here, the hard disk selection window has been opened. Here on the side, we can see the mode selection options. It has the options of normal mode, kernel mode, and diagnosis mode. Here, the family information of the hard disk can be seen. At the bottom side, in the module catalog, hard disk, file, and database options are available. The buttons for auto check, soft reset, hard reset, load LDR, OK, and exit can also be seen here. Guys, when the hard disk does not have a major firmware related problem, and the MRT software can easily read the ROM, RAM, and model information, also when the hard drive is in ready condition, then in such situations we read the hard disk in the normal mode. If the hard disk can't be read in the normal mode, and the drive is in the busy state, then in such situations, the MRT tool cannot be able to load the SA module information. In such cases, we start the hard disk by using the shorting method, or kernel mode, or the diagnosis mode. In the kernel mode, the information of service area modules does not get loaded on the RAM IC connected to the PCB, and we start the drive through the modules loaded in ROM. The SA modules can't get loaded due to many reasons like bad heads, damaged firmware modules, or SA area damage. So, in such cases kernel mode is used. The diagnosis mode is generally used for hard disk repairing. Here, we can see the family name and the size of the WD hard disk. Now click on the auto check button. Because the hard disk is in ready condition, the size and family of the hard disk get auto selected. Now click on the OK button and start the main utility. This is the log information tab. Here, the disk information of the hard disk is visible. Here, the model number, serial number, firmware version, capacity, 
drive family, SA cylinder, head number, and SPT number of the hard disk can be seen. Here the ROM version and current mode information of the drive can be seen. Right now, it is in the normal mode and therefore normal mode can be seen here. If the utility was started in the kernel mode or the diagnosis mode, then it could be seen here. Guys, in the log table the firmware information like firmware log, firmware initialization information, ROM loading information, RAM information, ROM module, SA translator, and other related information can be seen. Also, the update of all the firmware operations can be seen here on the log tab. So guys, in this way the firmware repairing of the WD hard disk is started, and the basic information is checked. In the next session, the interface, menus, and the main functioning of MRT WD will be discussed.